second class saw cuts are a step up in precision from third class saw cuts. Now, as we mentioned earlier, you might use a second class saw cut for something like cutting a tabletop to length or maybe cutting a drawer front to length. This type of cut, we want to be accurate and precise, but we're likely going to clean up that cut edge with a few swipes from a hand plane or maybe a little light sanding after the cut is made, unlike the third class saw cuts. The main difference that's going to allow us to do this is going to be the use of a knife in the layout as opposed to the pencil or chalk that we used for the third class saw cut. So here on the edge of our third class saw cut, you can see we've got quite a few ragged fibers and this cut may not be perfectly plumb or perfectly square, but that's okay because it's oversized and we're going to clean this up later. However, on our second class saw cut, we want to avoid that if we can. So to lay out for a slightly neater cut, we're going to use our square again, but we're going to use a knife to lay out the cut line instead of a pencil. And you'll see there's a couple marks on here, and these are called reference marks. We'll talk a little bit more about these when we get to build in our project. Just know for now that the use of the reference marks is where we're, going to ref where we're going to reference our square off of. So this leg of the square is always going to be against this edge with the reference mark, or it's always going to be against this face, regardless of where I'm marking. So here or here. So to lay out our second class saw cut, We'll use our knife and we'll score a line. And we're going to do this multiple times going deeper with each score. We'll do it three or four times. And I'm going to do this this time instead of just on the face like I did with the pencil. I'm going to wrap this line around all four sides of the board, both edges and both faces. So now again, referencing from here, I'll put my, my knife in the previous knife cut so I know it'll line up properly. And I can scribe. Okay, reference here, knife in the line, bring the square to the knife. So now I have a nice deep knife line instead of a pencil line. And the benefit of this knife line is it's going to leave a nice clean edge when we place the saw on the waist side of the cut. So this is our waist side. Now I'm using a bench hook. We'll talk a little bit more about those later. I'm going to put the saw on the waist side of the line. And you're going to see here that as I start to saw, the saw teeth tend to jump over to that knife line. Even if I start a little bit away from the knife line, the saw jumps over into that knife line. So not only does this knife line help to prevent the tearing of fibers on the keep part of the board, it also makes sure that our saw rides where we want it. So now I can make this cut. I start out establishing my square line across the face and then I have these knife marks that I can follow down the edges as well. And that's going to give me a really plumb accurate cut. So as you can see, on all four edges, we have a nice clean cut. Now, we may want to clean this up a little bit. It is a quite a, a nice cut, nice and clean. We have a little lip, little ledge there that we may want to clean up. But other than that, we have ourselves a nice clean cut. And this is a drawer face that we can then fit to our case. So you have a lot of options in saw choices when it comes to a second class saw cut. Uh, as you saw, I used a smaller joinery style saw because I was cutting a small board, in this case something that might be like a drawer face. 
If I was cutting something larger to length, like a tabletop, for example, then I would likely choose one of my larger saws. And tooth size really isn't that important when it comes to a second class saw cut. I would likely use the same 10 point cross cut saw for a second class saw cut for cutting a tabletop to length as I did um, that I used for the third class saw cut. The difference between the two, however, is that for that third class saw cut, I'm gonna use my pencil to lay it out. And for my second class saw cut, I'm gonna use a knife and I'm gonna lay it out on all four sides of the board. And that's gonna give me a lot more accuracy and precision in my cut so that I only have to clean it up with a few swipes of a hand plane or maybe a little light sanding.